Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the coding questions which were asked in Accenture hiring on 8th April 2022, that is today only. So, guys, make sure that you do not skip any part of this video and make sure to watch this video till the end. Guys, if you are not subscribed to this channel now, please subscribe it and share this channel among your friends because I am regularly posting lot of content regarding Accenture hiring and many more hirings I will be posting in future. And guys. Uh, from past few days many of you were requesting me to take the Accenture mock interviews for you guys and also I should review your resume that you will be giving in Accenture so as for this purpose only I will be taking Accenture mock interviews on various slots and also I will be reviewing your resumes for free so guys please make sure that you uh, uh, go to the link that I've given, I will give in the description box and make sure to book your slot for Accenture mock interview as well as well as for the resume review the resume review is completely free and there are limited slots available in both of these services so make sure that you after watching this video or just while watching this video you are booking your slot if you are interested in giving the mock interviews so in mock interviews i will be asking real questions actual questions which are asked in previous hiring so it will be really beneficial for you because many of you are nervous for giving the interviews so make sure that you uh, book your slot as soon as possible after watching this video so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel okay so guys the question that i am discussing in this video is segregate even and odd numbers given an array a write a function that segregates even and odd numbers the function should put all even numbers first and then odd numbers so let's just see with the help of example what this question is trying to say so we are given an integer array which contains even and odd numbers so what we have to do how we have to modify the array we have uh, the output array should look like this that is first all the even numbers that were present in the array should come and then at the end all the odd numbers that are present in the array should come so you can see here that how this array is modified so first all the even numbers will be placed inside the output array and in the later half the all the uh, odd numbers will be placed in the output array and again one more thing that is given to us is the order of the elements does not matter so for example here you can see it is uh, 12 34 8 and 90 so all the even numbers are following the same order but it is not necessary that they will follow the same order so let's just see in the below example again an input array is given which contains both odd and even numbers and then the output array is given in which first half contains all the odd num uh, even numbers and then after that all the odd numbers are present now what the what do you mean by order you can see here in the original array first 9 is coming then 45 is coming and then 45 is coming so again in the output array it, it, the order does not matter is uh, means like this that is 45 can also come first then 9 then 45 so relative order is not necessary to be kept same but it can be different also so now you, i hope you have understood the question that first in the input uh, array first you have to write all the uh, even numbers and then after that we have to write all the odd numbers so i hope this question as well as the examples are clear to you now let's just see the approach that we will be using okay so guys this is our input array that is 12 34 45 9 8 90 and 3 so we have to modify this input array in such a way that all the all, all the even numbers are coming in the front of the array and after the uh, odd numbers uh, after the even numbers all the odd numbers are present so what we will do first of all we'll take two pointers one is the left pointer that will be starting with the zeroth index and next uh, and next pointer is the r pointer that will be placed at the last position of the array so what we'll do we will start traversing the array from the left side we will start traversing the array from the left side that is this L pointer will be used to traverse the array what we will do if our current we will check the current element that are, what is the current element on the L so if our current element is 12 on the L so you can see that ARR of L is equal to 12 that is our current element is 12 so if, if it is an even number if the current element is even number we will do nothing we will simply move this pointer towards the next element so initially we have started our L from here now we have checked that what is our uh, value at L if the value at L is an even number then we will do nothing but we will simply move our L pointer to the next uh, to the next uh, data now again we will check what is the value at L so you can see that the value at L is still an even number so if the value at L is an even number we will again do nothing and we will move our L towards the next data point okay now we will check what is the value at l now you can see that the value at l is 45 that is an odd number so if our value at l is odd number what we will do we will swap the value we will swap the value of l with the value of r so r initially was at the end position 
so once we have we know that our the value at l is an odd number then what we'll do we'll swap the value of l with the value of r so let's just swap it so here 3 will come we have just swapped the numbers and here 45 will come okay so we have done the swapping so once the swapping is done we will do r minus minus that is r pointer will be pointed uh, will come one uh, one step ahead so what we have done initially if our current value at l if our current value at l was uh, odd then we will swap the value of l with the r and once the swapping is done we will do r minus minus so our r was currently pointing to uh, was pointing to there so once we have swapped the two values we will do r minus minus okay now again we will check the value at l so again you can see that value at l is odd so once the value at l is odd we will swap the value of l with value of r so let's just swap it so here 90 will come here 3 will come so once the value at l was odd number we have swapped the value of l with value of r and after and after that we have we will be doing r minus minus now we will check that what is the value of value at l so you can see that value at l is an even number so i have told you that when the value at l is an even number we will do nothing but we'll simply move our l towards the next position so this is it so now again our l has moved to the next position again we will check that what is the value at l so again the value at l is now 9 that is an odd number so once the value at l is an odd number we will swap the value of l with this value of r that is here 8 will come here 9 will come here 9 will come so once our value at l was odd we have swapped the value of l with value of r now here 8 has come and here 9 has come and after swapping we will do r minus minus so r minus minus we are doing so r is coming here so so this entire procedure will run till our l is less than r but now our l has become equivalent to r so now this entire iteration will stop here only that is this entire iteration will run till while our l is less than r but here at this iteration you can see our l has become equivalent to r so here we will stop and once we have stopped you can see that in the starting of the array all the even numbers are placed and after the even numbers all the odd numbers are placed so this is what we have to do in the answer that is we have to just we have to just move all the even numbers in the starting of the array and after the even numbers are over we will just have to place all the odd numbers till the end of the array so i hope now the approach is clear to you it was very simple if the current value at l was an even number we were doing nothing we were simply we were simply moving l to the next position if our current value at l was even but if our current value at uh, l was odd then what were we, what we were doing i am just revising the concept sorry the, uh, okay so r was here so let's just suppose our current value at l was an odd number so what we are doing we were swapping the both of values uh, of uh, swapping both of values like value of l and r we were swapping so here 45 wall was coming here 9 was coming and then after swapping we were simply doing r minus minus so i hope this thing is clear to you now the approach of the question is clear to you now we will move into the coding part of this question guys before moving towards the coding part i am once again reminding you that we are taking the mock interviews for accenture there are limited slots for mock interviews as well as we are uh, reviewing your resume for free so again there is are there are also limited slots that are available if you want if you wish to take part in any of such service so kindly visit the link that i have given in the description box and book your slot at the earliest because there are limited slots so guys now let's move towards our uh, coding part now guys for saving the time i have already already written the coding uh, already written the code so here you can see that we have taken two variables int l that was starting from uh, initially starting from the starting of the array and next variable was the r pointer that was starting from the uh, <coughs> rightmost that is the end uh, element of the array so 0 and minus 1 now what we are doing we are running a loop while our l is less than r if our current element at l that i have told you if our current element at l was an odd number was an odd number then what we were doing we were simply swapping we were simply swapping our l value with the r value and then we were simply doing r minus minus this was the case when our l element was an odd number else what else it means that else means if our value at l was an even number so if our value at l was an even number we were simply doing l plus plus so this work was continuing till our l was less than r so once our l is less than r we have returned this uh, returned from this function now what we'll do we'll simply print the array so now let's just simply run the code so here our uh, uh, is in our uh, input that is 
फाइव एलिमेंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सो वन सी विल रन इट यू विल सी दैट ऑल दी इवन नंबर्स विल कम इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द एरे एंड ऑल दी ऑड नंबर्स विल मूव टू वर्ड द एंड ऑफ द एरे सो हेयर यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज आर आउटपुट दैट इज फोर टू थ्री फाइव वन हेयर दी ऑर्डर ऑफ द एलिमेंट डज नॉट मैटर इन इवन और ऑड सो आई होप दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर टू यू इट विल पास ऑल दी टेस्ट केसेज दैट विल बी गिवन टू यू सो गाइज थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो